Welcome back everyone, Prince Dokuto here, and we are back with Ultimate General Civil War. Last time we left off, we left off right here, where we are about to do the Battle of Bull Run. Bull Run is the northern name for the people who are from the south. You probably know this better as the Battle of Manassas. And for the people who are not American and wondering why the heck a Civil War battle has two names, it's very simple. So down here you see a small little town, and that is Manassas, um, the Manassas City. There's also a railroad, a railroad station here somewhere, I can't figure it out on this map, but that is Manassas Railroad Junction. That's what the Confederates were trying to protect. Bull Run is named after this stream right here, and pretty much all of this too. Bull Run is the name of the river in which the battle happened. So, if you want to know why, that's why. Rebels are... Gr see right here. Okay, that was getting like really loud. I couldn't hear anything. Uh, so the rebels are guarding Manassas Railroad Junction with strong forces a few miles east of this location. Basically, that's what they were fighting over. That's why it's Manassas. Bull Run River is defended by several CSA brigades. And forcing our way through could be risky. It is advised to initiate a faint attack on the on this bridge with a small amount of regiments. I don't I think they actually did pull that off. I don't I'm not entirely sure. So there's the railroad station. Our main force will pass here and attack the left flank of the Confederate army. If we act fast, the rebels will have no time to reinforce the area and will be forced off the field. Then we will move east and deal the final blow. We can win the war. T we can end the war today, General. Good luck. General, we are ready to execute our diversionary attack on the stone bridge. Some rebel regiments are guarding the area with advance, advance with caution. In about an hour, our divisions will arrive and launch a full-scale attack on their left flank. Until then, keep the rebels busy. Good luck, General. So we'll send the first I Ohio over here. Speaking of which, Ohio is Grant's uh, actual st country. Actual place. I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. So our two objectives are capture Matthews Hill right here and capture the Stone Bridge. So we're going to do it like this. I'm just going to set these guys up so they are in different areas. And this is how we're going to do it. So we're going to have the first Ohio attack first, second Ohio attack second, and second New York attack third. And Ohio is going to come up first to actually get into the battle. And the reason why we've deployed these guys here is so they can bombard that area. Because look, it's about the same height. Which means they can actually shoot a little bit further. At least these guys can. Bye, company into line! March! And 
and that's what you would actually do to get this is buy company into line or flanking maneuver. Because despite what people think, people in the Civil War were not dumb. We still don't see them yet, so we're going to keep moving up just a bit. Ooh, they have a good scouting spot too. I want to fire on them like that. I'm going to try to keep them off the bridge as much as possible. Knowing that that's also going to be a hard task to accomplish. So we spotted Rebel Cavalry. Hold. And this should allow us to have that unit fire on them. Not really. Hold. Reconnaissance Calvary has crossed the river undetected. Wow. Can we find another place that they can cross? Right here. We're going to send our cavalry around and attack them on a the flank. Soldiers, your soldiers lead the flanking attack. Great to know. So they are guarding that area. Yet over here it's unopposed so far. We'll send our skirmishers up over here to this ridge and see if we can't scout anything out. Okay, we're so far unopposed. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat out. We're unopposed so far. It would be great if we could capture that hill. Because then we can just send out the rest of these guys. Slowly but surely. Let's see if you can't get through. Okay, they're sending much more guy, many more guys. 
And it looks like we found a place. Barto's men are ready to, to defend the hill. That's a huge army that they have right there. Grant, where's my cavalry? My cavalry's going to go around here. There's a few thousand over there. So we're going to try to attack them on this flank. They've routed another unit, so let's see if we can't show up unopposed. Yeah, that's a huge, huge army. We'll have our cavalry here charge. Come on, you can do it. We'll send in three waves of charge. First, the scouts over here. They're low on ammo. Our second supply caravan, that's great. Along with two more infantry battalions. And there's my second division. We're going to keep holding. We're going to hold right there. The other unit's going to start moving over here. We're going to move over here too. But either way, we capture this hill. And there's Beauregard right over there. That dang Yankee. I mean, that dang Reb. Hold and fire. And we're going to send our last cavalry guys off to the side. And we're going to try to capture most of those guys. We want them to know that they are fully encased. Now cut off the route. I'll send them off. Our horse is over here. We'll attack that one unit from the side.
Sherman is ready to cross the bridge. It should be lightly defended now. Well, Sherman, it is lightly defended. If you'll bring me your men. Meanwhile, we're going to try to push these areas completely back. We'll send out these large armies off to our side. We'll start pushing our cannons over here. And we'll send our ammo up to the front. With our lovely, lovely general up there. Hold. Lieutenant Colonel Timmy is wounded. Ah. Uh -uh. Timothy is not doing well. We'll send Klein and his men over here. Now let's see if we can't find out what's going on behind this hill. Have it Sherman be supported by that. So the second New York and the second Ohio are doing quite well. They're just running low on ammunition. And soon we can say the same about our other thing, our other groups. Keys! Keys, thank you so much. I'm hoping that we can establish a line straight through here so I could send uh, Antmo support off to the side. That is one of our main fears right now is that we don't have enough ammo to support. Give me a good idea of what's behind this hill. And we're going to keep going. So we had the stone bridge at the very least. Hey, old Beauregard. We're going to cut your guys off. Keys is now able to get over here. Hampton's Legion. I know it's a pain to run at this point, but we need to hold off these guys. We can't allow them to cross here, and we can't allow them to escape. It looks like they've already given up on keeping this part, though. Yeah, they're moving all their support to help fight over here. Which I think means that we've won.
Yep, we secured Matthews Hill, but we're oh, we're waiting to secure it. The rebels are trying to withdraw to Henry's Hill. We outnumber the enemy, and we must keep pushing forward. The Confederates are establishing defenses upon up on top of Henry's farm. General Jackson has been spotted with fresh troops coming from the south, and that's where they would get the Stonewall name. We must break the hill's defenses before the arrival of rebel reinforcements. Await your orders to attack. Oh, we can at least harass them right there. General Sherman's up there. Let's go capture some guns and supplies. And then we'll send this cart over here. I'm going to hold off these other areas. Supplies surrendered. Supplies surrendered. So Thomas Jackson's a brigade and they're establishing a top on the hill. And Jackson's right there. We just need to get this ammo over to these guys. If we can do that, we can push them out. Yeah, they have no more ammo. Let's start moving our bigger brigades over this direction. Hold. We want to get these guys some ammo. Come on, boys, you can do it. You can whoop them. They just have to push a little bit harder, and we can whoop them. Okay, now this side can hold. I'm just trying to make sure that they can't cross the river anymore. These guys got their ammo. We're actually going to be able to pull off a large encirclement, which is something I wasn't thinking I was going to do today, but that looks like it's going to happen.
you know, those two cannons, they ain't going to be moving much more after that. We're going to capture the supplies back there. So we're going to move Sherman over here, push keys this way, along with Loomis. Yeah, we're going to get that cavalry out there. So they have two batteries back there, which are causing us some hell. let them hold just a bit so they can rest up you guys need to halt We've actually taken pretty authentic losses. We've only lost 20% so far. And that's about normal for an average army. Let's see if we can't get Franklin rebought. Takes them forever to get back on track. This looks awesome though. Just this giant blue line marching forth.
we put most of them to the route. We pushed them back pretty far. It is quite hard to capture certain groups. You need like a whole lot of cavalry to capture someone in this game. Let's bring General Wilcox over there. Sherman, you deserve a break. That's... Oh, that sucks. We are just slightly inconvenienced by it. Lumber up. We may actually be able to catch General Barlow. The Confederates are on a counterattack. General, our men are exhausted from continuous fight, and more rebels are coming. We should stop our advance and hold our ground. We can do that. But first I'm going to capture some things. We want this group right about here. We want Franklin right about here. Sherman, we want you right there. Howard, we want you right here. New York, we want you guys all back here. We want artillery back there. We want even more of our artillery up and over here. Okay, they managed to route that one cavalry unit.
Yeah, we're gonna have General Keys come over and help. Loomis, you are going to deny that 108th for South Carolina. Yeah, I see them. So, regain your composure. Wilcox, re. <clears throat> Just like in real war, sometimes your generals are idiots and don't listen to a dang thing. Come on, Wilcox. Rejoin the fray. Hold the line. Hold the line. Hold the line. I'm going to tell you to hold. The 33rd Virginia is getting torn to shreds. General Keys, please do re engage the enemy. General Loomis, hold. Hold fire. Wait, no. Hold fire. And we're going to bite these two up here. We're going to tell that to withdraw. Him pretty well. There's Johnston.
okay. We're doing pretty well. Yes, yeah, so we have bodies like everywhere on this battlefield and craters. Intense fighting right here. Battle Bull Run was a bloody one. And in game, it's just as bloody. We're able to hold them off pretty well. And towards the end of capturing, we still haven't done that yet. I want to try to at least capture one or two of them. We're going to get into better cover. Now that's like point blank shooting if we have the charge option available. As you can see we don't really have it. it we don't have any condition to do it. Yeah we could just break that one completely. Our best attack is a form of counterattack right now. We're going to see if we can't capture Johnston and so we're going to set that one to withdraw and it looks like we killed Johnston too. And now we get to do this. We're going to have a lot of captured guns at the end of this.
We can take uh, trips to the house. Come on, Franklin. Howard's over here. The 131 New York is pretty much just attacking on the flanks. That's all they're really useful for right now. So we didn't really lose momentum even though I thought we did a couple of times. We just happened to slow down a bit. I want to have them surrender. That's really what I want is to have most of them surrender so we can just take it out. Let's send Grant over. Pretty sure most of our guys are low on supplies by this point. Loomis needs to be over there. We'll send Howard on a small march. So we're going to have them hold fire. That way we can do this. Let's see, we're at 45% casualties. Not too bad, but also not very good at all. And we're almost there. We have just a little bit more. <sighs> this has been a pretty interesting and hot and intense battle. And I'm not referring it to hot as most people would. I'm referring it to hot as the amount of firepower that's been constantly going off. Each one of these guns is probably like 
20 to 30 degrees right now Celsius it, it's they'd be burning in that wood and in their hands Let's get some supply over to them. Hold fire. We're going to continue the fight just to see if we can't get any prisoners out of this. I think we could. Yep. I was like, if they're not going to surrender, we're not going to let them go. So, Grant and 10,000 Union Army soldiers with 413 cavalry and 33 guns, 732 crew members, went up against... Thomas, Jonathan Jackson, Joseph Johnson, PGT Beauregard, the commander of, I am pretty sure that's still the same one. Sometimes I get confused between two of the generals, the, I know there's another Beauregard, but I think that is the one that's, no, I, I think I'm wrong. Uh, someone can correct me if we do, if I am. However, uh, so we went up against those three with who had a total combined eleven thousand three hundred and eight infantry, four hundred and fifty six cavalry, twenty six guns with a crew of six hundred and thirty two. In the end. Our casualties mounted to 430, no, 4,382 casualties, three guns, 61 men, uh, 314 cavalry killed, or casualties, so they could be wounded too. As for the enemy, the enemy had 8,926 infantry. 17 guns with a total of 466 crew, 288 cavalry, and 40 and 81 are missing. I think that just means prisoners. I don't know why I keep saying missing instead of like prisoners of war or something like that. All in all, they incurred about. I want to say they incurred about 95% casualties. Because you gotta imagine that most of them are still running. And had my guys continued firing, most of them wouldn't be running. 
So for a draw, inflict at least 15% or more casualties than the enemy. Or more than the enemy. Oh. Hold Henry Hill for victory. Yeah. That's all the units. We're not going to go through that right now. As for this. Battle Officer Report. James Ricketts, Major, from Captain to Major. William Franklin, Wounded in Action. Ralph uh, Colts, promoted to Lieutenant Colonel. Emis Keyes, promoted to Brigadier General. Tom Martson, Wounded. Walter Klein, Wounded. Adam Loomis, Wounded. William Sherman, promoted to Brigadier General. Alexander McCook, Wounded. Uh, James Carlosi, promoted to Major. Peter Haynes, promoted to Major. And Oliver Howard, promoted to Brigadier General. Let's see, just deceased. I don't have any deceased. Nice. Now we get to the fun part. What weaponry did we attain, obtain? Palmetto Rifles, 1842. We have rescued 108. That's awesome. Farmer, we can, we captured 1790. I mean, 1790. Six pound field guns. We rescued one and captured five. Hunter Rifles, 73 captured. Springfield, we rescued 2323. Interesting. Cook and Brother, 91 captured. Reboard Farmer, 399. So that one just has better accuracy and range. Uh, and Sharps Model and Sharps 55, we rescued 130, captured 90. And Supplies, we captured 4,326. That is good. It means that they didn't use their supplies well either. And we got the War Met War Service Medal. What does it do? We got two career points, ten reputation, and twenty three thousand cash, thirteen thousand man. I mean men, and we exchange 81 prisoners for 81 additional recruits. We'll accept that. We want to get a couple of these captains up there. He's been promoted, so discipline, plus five efficiency, physical training, stamina and efficiency, or logistics. We want them well trained. And we'll go for... We'll go for a total of seven guns. How many? F oh, we have 23,000. So let's just get that to 806. Yes, sir. I want this one more in the 500 range because they're coming out with huge numbers as well. This will be my 15,000 core man. Calvary.
Do we have any others? Nope. So we'll keep that and we'll fit them all out with it. We will also add another infantry battalion to this with a thousand soldiers. Here we will add another artillery section and we're going to give them 12 pounder Napoleons with four guns. That should just help us out a little bit more and we'll get a second cavalry unit. They aren't really good at fighting melee, but they're more efficient. Oh, there's none in the armory, so that's why we can't get them. As for these, we're going to sell off all those. Same with these. There's a ton of Harper's Ferry, so we're going to go... We got to be conservative. Wow. Um, we'll just get 600 of those then. I love the Harper's Ferry ones, but those are just ridiculously high. We're not going to dismiss them just yet. So there's the war service. They have two points. We'll put them both in medicine. And that's just going to help us keep more of our guys alive. We can add a second core if we wish. We'll add a second core. Which will mean we'll have to create a second division. And we'll create... We'll give them a thousand infantry of that. Then I want them to have a thousand of that. And then I want him to have skirmishers. Sir, yes, sir. Speaking of which, I only looked at the one. We don't want large reloading times. We have two 10 pounders which we'll deal with as that time comes. But I think this has been a pretty good area to kind of leave off. We're gonna read this message real quick. Correspondence, 28th day of the seventh month of 1861. Captured message. We are currently regrouping our forces after the battle of the first bull run. After the battle of bull run, we're not going to say that. And we're also going to say it's Manassas because that's more confederacy. No, wait, no. I think it is Bull Run. I'm getting all confused today. It. We'll, we'll just say it as it is. After the Battle of Bull Run, and seek an opportunity to counterattack General uh, Grant. Unfortunately, we have suffered severe casualties and are unable to advance more aggressively. I am confident that we can defeat Grant if we receive more support from you. Colonel William Gordon. 
30th day, 7th month, 1861, captured message. Mr. President, in Bull Run, we fought General Grant and understood greatly about his tactics. I, am str I strongly believe that the transfer of our Central State Corps with a strength of 28,700, if I recall correctly, are not enough. We need additional reinforcements and fast. Major General Alex Dennison. We're causing them some trouble. <laughs> so what battles do we have? Shiloh. Okay, we're going to shine in Shiloh. I am not going to allow myself to lose to them. Because Grant won at Shiloh, actually. Crossroads and river crossing. So next time we'll be doing one of these two missions. And then we'll go into the Battle of Shiloh. Hopefully you guys all have enjoyed. This is Prince Dokuto signing off. And thank you to the Royal Court members.